There's outrage among some students at Kennesaw State University. Hundreds of students are protesting the possible elimination of the African Studies program. Channel 2's Chris Jose is live in Cobb County. And Chris, you've been working to get some answers from the school. Yeah, I've been looking into this for a few days now. In a statement, a spokeswoman told me the African Studies program will remain active for the 2017-2018 school year. After that, it is all up in the air, and that's where the students come into play. Take a look right here. These signs, they've been gearing up for another round of protests, encouraging KSU to bring black back. Bring back back. This is cell phone video of one of several protests at Kennesaw State late last week. More are planned in the coming days. Kennesaw State University, you have been warned. That's KSU junior Alika Cooper and Kelsey Jones. Both are spearheading the effort to keep the African Studies program. We're not going to be silent and we will not stop. We want them to talk to us. We also don't want them to give empty promises anymore. We've learned in November 2016. University officials identified the African Studies program as a candidate for deactivation because of low enrollment. The program, which the Board of Regents approved in 2004, consistently failed to meet the minimum number of students and at least 10 graduates annually. This, according to a university spokeswoman. They need to either give us real numbers that can express the justification of deactivating this major, or they need to keep it here. Without student input, the spokeswoman told me university officials and faculty members have agreed to work closely next school year to recruit additional majors into the program. In a statement emailed to me, the spokeswoman said the program will be reviewed again in spring 2018. KSU officials are hopeful enrollment will increase so that deactivation is not necessary. We need to know that our voices are being heard and they're not just going to overshadow us with a statement that says that they're going to keep it. And despite numerous requests, university officials have yet to meet with the students. We'll keep you posted. Live in Cobb County, Chris Jose, Channel 2 Action News, Nightbeat.